You know those people who, when they're talking to someone that doesn't speak the same language as them, they raise their voice and slow down their words? Even though it's not like a comprehension issue, it's not even a hearing issue, there's no reason to raise your voice. It's a matter of like the person speaks a different language than you. You know those people, right? What if I told you that the same reason those people change their speech pattern for them, it's the exact same reason you change your speech pattern for your dog. When we make those really cute baby talk voices, and we use the really high pitched voices, and probably throughout this video, my dog is gonna be jumping up on me when I make those sounds, so I apologize ahead of time. But it's rooted in the same thing. It's rooted in the same place in our brain. So in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the science behind the best way to communicate with your dog using speech. So if you're interested, keep watching. What's up guys? It's Jenna with Dog Liaison, where I coach you on how to enhance your dog's mental health needs. On this channel, we break down scientific research in order to inform us on how to educate and train dogs. So if you're interested in a nerdy approach to canine cognition, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Now, the way we change our speech when we're communicating with dogs is actually called dog-directed speech. That's the big fancy phrase for it, or DDS. And DDS is rooted in the same exact process as infant directed speech. So basically when we're talking to babies, we also have baby talk. Now, human psychologists, researchers, we understand why DDS and IDS exist. Um, it's because basically subconsciously humans are trying to make themselves more understandable to those whom we perceive may not understand us right? So there is a reason for it. We get why humans do it. It's okay. But the real question is these changing our inflections, changing our tones, do they actually help the dogs understand? And that is what we're investigating today. Let's get started. Several studies have found that dogs do indeed become more responsive and more alert by the dog directed speech. And this was found over many years. However, one noteworthy study in 2017 really wanted to decipher, is it the content that the human is saying? So basically, is it the good boy, the good girl, you're so cute, the, all that, or is it the tone, is it the inflection, which is particularly called the prosody, so the sort of that whimsical sound that we make, which of those is really making the dog become more responsive? And what their study found is that it's probably a combination of both together. Now, more studies need to be investigating this. We have a little bit more research that we need to figure out that phenomenon. But I think that we, as dog owners and dog trainers, can intuitively understand that the tone or the prosody really makes them excited, but then they also understand cues. So when you say things like, do you wanna go for a walk? Or do you want dinner? Or whatever it is, right? When you use those cues, they have that special heightened association. And those words, that content, absolutely adds to their attentiveness. In fact, in a 2018 study, researchers looked at the brain scans, an MRI scan of 12 dogs, and what they did was they presented the dogs with one word that the, the dog knows, a familiar cue, and one word that the dog does not know, an unfamiliar cue. And what they found was that the brain is indeed distinguishing between the two. So the dog is understanding the words that he knows and recognizes, and that is hitting all of the right spots in the brain. And then there's this other part of the brain that is lighting up when they're presented with unfamiliar cues. And the hypothesis, and this is arguable, the hypothesis is that this other part of the brain is trying to investigate, is trying to rationalize what this other word could be in reference to. So it's looking at all of the context cues and it's trying to figure out what does this other word mean. Additionally, researchers have concluded that dogs are far more likely to spend more time with humans using dog-directed speech 
than humans that are just talking normal in a regular day-to-day -day voice. So not only are they gravitating towards folks that are using dog-directed speech, but they are also distinguishing between the content of what that person is saying. They're able to identify familiar and unfamiliar words. But I have a little bit of a bone to pick because I would argue that all of the dogs that were studied in all of these papers had a temperament or a sociability that was conducive for dog directed speech. And this is probably just because I work with dogs that are fearful and anxious and sensitive in nature, but I hypothesize that the results would probably look a little bit differently if they selected dogs that had more stranger danger. Right? If you picked people that, or picked dogs rather, that were perhaps sensitive to noises, that had noise sensitivity, or sensitive to stranger danger, I think that the results might look a little bit different. And so while I think that it's a good place to start in concluding that dog-directed speech is effective for dogs and that it does get them what they need and it does communicate effectively with them, I think that we should also be a little bit more open-minded that this may not apply to all dogs. I think that we need to be careful about generalizing this, especially for our sensitive kids. In fact, comment below whether or not your dog likes dog-directed speech and tell us what sort of personality or temperament your dog has. Are they more sensitive to sounds? Are they have stranger danger? Do they like it when strangers use dog-directed speech towards them? Tell us in the comments below. If you're looking for more dog behavior science explained videos, make sure to check out this playlist right here. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, consider subscribing for more nerdy content, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I drop a new video and I'll see you guys next week.